If you're interested in cryonics, my bet is that you've probably discussed this topic with some people that you care about. Maybe it's a spouse or a parent, and they're kind of vaguely interested in the topic, but they're never quite motivated enough to actually sign themselves up. But you care about them and you want to see them in the future with you. Well, this video might be the solution for you. My name is Becca. I'm part of the team here at Tomorrow Bio, and today I'm going to be explaining gifting a cryopreservation, what that means and why you would do it. I'm gonna start by explaining why you would actually decide to gift someone a cryopreservation. And the first reason is helping them overcome procrastination. You might assume, okay, if I have a parent and I want them to sign up for cryonics, why don't I just tell them and have them do it themselves? Why would I be involved in some gifting process? And that sounds great, but I'm guessing you've probably already tried that and it doesn't seem to work. Cryonics is something that's important, but never feels very urgent. So nobody actually thinks that they're going to die soon, right? But of course, at some point, you do have to secure your cryopreservation if you want to be cryopreserved. Gifting a cryopreservation means there's no more excuses. Now you've said to this person, hey, I care about you. I want to see you in the future. You have no more excuses. Please secure that cryopreservation. Another reason why you might consider gifting a cryopreservation is that, let's be real here, it's a pretty cool gift. No pun intended. Sure, you could always gift your dad another pair of socks for his birthday, but is that really showing that you care about him? If you gift someone a cryopreservation, you are gifting them the chance to see the future and live a greatly extended life. All the hobbies that they didn't get to fully pursue in this lifetime, now they have the time. Being able to see how civilization advanced in terms of space travel and all sorts of other cool tech, now they can maybe see that. Of course, no one can guarantee if or when it will actually be possible to revive patients out of cryopreservation. But I'd say the chance of all that is a little bit cooler than a sock. Aside from helping a loved one overcome procrastination and the fact that it's a pretty cool gift, the last reason why you might gift someone a cryopreservation is pretty simple. You care about them and you want them to live. You think that the future would be better with them in it. So now you probably wanna know how does it actually work? What does it really mean to gift someone a cryopreservation? Well, I'm going to go through that step by step. The first step is to go to our Gift a Cryopreservation page webpage, which of course will be in the description. Here you can complete the checkout where you give the basic information about you, your loved one, and whether you would like to gift them a brain only or whole body cryopreservation. Now, don't stress. When you go through this process, you are not immediately committing to paying for the full cryopreservation, right? You can always decide later if you just want to pay the membership fee or if you want to pay the insurance or how exactly that's going to work. All that can be figured out between you, your loved one, and with the guidance of our team. First, you are only committing to paying the first membership fee for your loved one. In the second step, you'll receive an email where you can schedule a call between you, your loved one, and Tomorrow Bios founder, Dr. Emil Kanziura. This call will give Emil the opportunity to introduce any part of the topic that your loved one doesn't fully understand yet. And of course, your loved one can ask any clarifying question. Also, this call is important so that we can make sure that your loved one is giving informed consent. You can't force anyone to be cryopreserved. They have to understand it and really be bought into it. And this call is making sure that they are making that informed decision. Once your loved one is informed, we'll send them a biostasis contract to sign. And that is the final official step. After that, it's maybe figuring out the logistics, like which funding method you wanna use for them and how the payment works. And of course, our team is happy to help you along the way. By the way, if you're watching this and you haven't signed up yet, don't worry, you can still gift someone else a cryopreservation. Maybe you're procrastinating your own sign up for whatever reason, but you want to, for example, make sure that your parents get on it and secure their cryopreservation. So now it's up to you to decide if you want to gift someone a cryopreservation. If you have any questions at all, be sure to leave them down in the comment section below or even better, schedule a call with our team so that we can answer all of your questions immediately. You can also find a lot of really valuable information on our website, tomorrow.bio, and subscribe so that you get more informative content just like this. Thank you for listening. See you next time.